Okay, I seem to be getting a lot of uh, messages about these Craigslist scams. So a friend of mine um, got, a, got a scam she contacted me about. Um, and she didn't even know about my, my uh, Craigslist posting on, on, the, on uh, YouTube. But here, they actually use a UPS number on it. And uh, United States Postal Service, which they normally don't like doing because that becomes like a federal crime. But they said, what the hell, we're already in it for these uh, money orders. So let's make it look legit that way. Um, so bear with me. I'm just going to do this little recording. And here we go. Here's the, here are the two money orders. Um, one and two. They came in two different letters to her. Um, it looked like $995. I'll explain to you the scam, how it works in a minute. And then I'll get over to this other one too. For, let's work with the $995. So the person is kind of cool. She thought she was getting, let me, I'll get clarity in a minute. She thought she was going to be part of the secret shopper thing. And of all places, Western Union. So you can pause this and then read it. Um, but it says, uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Which I should be able to with this lens. Okay, of all places, it's a survey assignment instruction. She's, she was first contacted to make it look like a secret shopper. And they bait her in. And then they send her the money. Um, and if you read this, it says that... Uh, it's very important to the uh, Anyway, follow the instructions. Um, you are, let me get, let me flick this lens level, this lens a little bit. You're required to, let me get that, you proceed to your bank to cash the money orders. Um, basically, go to the bank, cash the money orders, then she's supposed to go to, to uh, her assignment, is done with, any, can be done with any Western Union store. She's supposed to go there, and fill out a pay to, uh, she's supposed to send the money to um, enact irate and see how they act and anything else. It says that you'll love the irate part. They make it look so, uh, um, how to pay the side of the money in order. See? I'm going to slow you read it. Anyway, she's supposed to go there. And here's the person's address, actually, they're using in the Philippines. She's supposed to send the money. Western Union wire transfer to the Philippines. So it's not only in uh, Nigeria, but here's an address in the Philippines that uses uh, is part of the scam. Um, the reason for, uh, for the transfer is just to see how they work at the Western Union store you're running to survey on. To complete a Western Union survey, you need to get some money transferred for the accurate assignment. So they gave her the accurate the money. Of course, she's supposed to deposit in her bank. The bank will give you back your money thinking it's legit too and then uh, it will bounce later because it's not going to be true and you by then you've been scammed and you sent them all but a hundred dollars. Alright so it was two letters one and two they sent her. Here's the email address that they left on that she actually shared with me. Um, the other one she ripped off for some reason but here's their email address and the date. Alright so here are the money orders. This guy I'm going to click over. We'll click over to a different zooming setting so I can focus differently. All right, so if you look up money orders, uh, you'll see that you're not supposed to be able to read these a certain way. I mean, uh, see like the label, like the the president's head there. I mean, uh, Franklin's head, or whoever heads that is. Franklin, I think. You shouldn't be able to see it under light. There's like a bunch of ways, but the postal service uh, puts it online to let you find out how to do it, or you can call them on the phone. All right, here's another one. This one I had fun with because they wouldn't leave me alone. So I told them to send me the damn money. You know, who knows? Maybe they were real. But I sold them. Look at the, the name I gave them. If you look at that name, spelled backwards, it says, uh, or no, this one's spelled regular, Tukan Chu. And they paid, paid to the order of Tukan Chu uh, near North National Title. You know, uh, it's a joke. What's a Chinese 69? Who can chew? Okay, I hope you appreciate the joke. All right. It's a joke I learned as a kid. Terrible joke, right? Um, and here it is. They used uh, FedEx for that one. Now, let's go one more time. And I let, you'll see me rip all these up. Here's another one. I've been just sitting on this one forever. Right before I can make this video for you guys. Let's see. And don't bother contacting the police or anything else. It seems to be a waste. 
I've done that. Okay, somebody sent twenty twenty five hundred and seventy five dollars. And let's see. And American Bar Association. Oh shit, they're ripping off uh, lawyers. Ha ha ha. Yeah, like I'm gonna suffer. They're not ripping off lawyers at all. There's be you. But look at this word spelled backwards. It spells S C A M, which is scam. C H E C K S, scam checks. And they wrote it. Max Sketchki. Dumbasses. This is what I mean about making them pay. So they sent that through FedEx. J P Morgan. They sent it through FedEx, approved by ABA, <laughs> American Bar Association. That is crazy. So, um, they sent it through FedEx, which cost them money. Now watch this. Rip. Hold on. Rip. And the money orders. Rip, rip. And then I'll uh, shred them. Shred them also. Because um, we don't want them out there. Alright, so there you guys go again. There's just more of the nasty checks. So I hope this shows you that the money is not real. It's not real. You're not getting real money. No one's buying your junk on Craigslist for full price, sending you full price in the mail, and even better than full price, and then telling you to forward the money, extra money somewhere else. You are being scammed. Now, you will be all taken to the bank if you deal with this. Ball, Bobby called, what? Cauldron. That's weird. Oh, what? This one's confusing me myself. Okay. Well, this getting shredded. Wish you guys all success and do not cash these checks. Okay, here we go. Shredding of the checks. That is the other thing you want to get. So I'm going to my trash man going through my trash one day. So I shred everything with my address on it. Anyone's address that comes to me now. I figure the trash man must have got connected with someone. That's no good. What does he need to go through my trash? He slept. Okay, that resolves that. Hope you guys can enjoy it. Well, learn something from it.